Wagwan, Pananatagwan, and Panatingagwan, you see? <laughs> Alright, what's up, you guys? So, it's your girl Ashley here again. And I decided to just do this video because I wanted to have like a introductory video to my business and who I am and what I'm about and what Sophie Lux is about. So, <laughs> my name's Ashley. Um, my tag name, street name, or whatever you want to call it, is Juicy. I had that name for mad long since, like, I don't know, maybe sixth grade, whatever. We was on the block. We all just made up nicknames, and Juicy was mine because of... Okay, okay. And I'm just lit, like... You know, you can have sauce, but like you gotta have the juice. Like you need juice every time. I always say um, so that's something else about me. It's like a nervous tick to like fill space. Yeah. I started Sophie Lux because people always ask, Oh my gosh, what Sophie Lux? Why'd you name it that? What does that mean? Who is Sophia? What is that? Da -da -da. Well, I am 27 years old. I don't have any children right now, but when the time comes and when God blesses me with my child, if it's a girl, I plan to name her Sophia. But at this point in time, I don't have a child right now, so my business is my child and this is my baby. So Sophie Lux is basically my baby. She was birthed on july 18th 2018 my business grows and as my brand grows sophie looks it's gonna be generational so if i do have a daughter when and when it happens sophia will have her own some people be like oh my gosh well what if you have a son well then i have a son and i have a business still named sophie lux it's still my baby at the end of the day it's still my business uh my passion for hair where did it come from well i always was into hair i always was that girl like if in school and my hair was not done i'm not going like <laughs> i'm not going to school like which is crazy because now like you could catch me on a day you know what i'm saying you could catch me on a day when i'm going out my hair is not done or whatever but old ash old juice like if my hair was not done i'm not going to school like people would be like yo where juicy at why she ain't in school and then you know my friend at the time like she would just let people know like come on like y'all already know she's not here like her hair is not done like she because i go to school if i'm sick i'm one of those people like i love school so i go to school if i'm sick nothing but if you want me to not go somewhere just make my hair not be done just just tell me my hair is not going to be done nope nope that's that and um oh yeah so my passion with hair i lived in new york for like majority of my life i lived in brook i grew up in brooklyn and i moved to pennsylvania after i graduated high school so that was in 2009 and when I moved out here, wasn't really much to do, right? Like, it's not much to do at all. So, I learned how to do so much things while I was here. Like, I, like, well, this is not the color of my wall, but a lot of you know, especially if you on my Instagram or anything, my room is the pink room. I learned how to do so much stuff. I learned how to do nails. I learned how to do my hair. I learned how to do my makeup. I learned how to anything that's DIY. I learned how to do it because of my room and because of my move to Pennsylvania. So with that being said, you know, you could look on my video. You could see like, not my video, my Instagram. You could see that I always dabble in makeup. Anything that's beauty, I'm always dabbling in it. My nails is not done right now because, yo, I have to, I be braiding hair now and stuff like that. And the long nails right now is not a thing. And also, I'm kind of going through a, you know, a little right now. So it's, it's just, it's just not a thing right now. I used to always paint my nails. Then after the whole nails thing, it started to be like oh i'm doing my makeup and then i just got an obsession with makeup and i used to just buy makeup like every single day like if i was to show you guys my vanity right now it's mad embarrassing and i'm just not gonna do it but i love makeup too but i always just loved the fact of like just my hair like being able to switch my hair all the time like if you look on my instagram or even before like I used to always get my hair done like probably about every three weeks or so 
because I just like to change it. Like I like, oh, one day I have braids, then the next time you see me again, oh, I got a bang. Then the next time you see me again, oh, my shit is down here. And the next time you see me again, oh, shoot, I got a bob. Like I just like being versatile. I like changing it. Like right now from my last videos, my hair was black and now it's this color, you know. Um, I'm just that girl, like, so, you know, my man, if you have a problem and you want a new girl, well, I will take this off and <laughs> you will get another girl because this is why I got into the whole wig thing. And also, um, I'm like an advocate for women just feeling good about themselves and, you know, just feeling like you just that. I don't even want to say it, but just feeling like you're just that bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just want women to feel beautiful at all times, whether it's with your natural hair, whether it's with a weave, whether it's a wig or anything like that. Like, just sis, like, just switch it up. Like, switch it up. Switch it up on them. Never keep them knowing what you're doing. Like, what? You said what? Well, guess what? Tomorrow I have in blue hair. So what's up? <laughs> like nah, but no, on some real shit though. Um, I just genuinely want people to feel good about themselves and hair. I love the accessory. You know what I'm saying? Like you see how I have my hoops on right now? Hoops. They put me in my bag. Like if I have on studs, I'd be feeling like, oh, I gotta be. <laughs> and as you could see, like these are like. You know, it's not the real diamonds yet, but they're like blinged out because that just represents me. Like, I just, I like that. Like, it's just me. Okay. So, I don't know where else this is going to go. I'm probably going to record other videos to like edit this one. But that's my story on how Sophie Love came to be and who I am and why I'm going to not going and I'm going to go And, um, yes. That is all. So I'll see you guys in my next video.